From an achievement that absolutely roasts you to an adorable Easter egg left by the devs, these are 30 secrets and Easter eggs sponsored by Genshin Impact. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious has got to be one of the hardest words to say, so I don't think anyone was expecting to hear an Abyss Mage take a crack at it. <laughs> But sometimes Genshin likes to pull the pranks on you, and while cooking is one of the most important parts of the game, you could also be pretty bad at it. If you mess up any dish, it turns into a suspicious recipe, and the descriptions do not hold back. If you cook a steak wrong, it says the color's a little bleak, almost as if it feels sorry for itself for being a sorry excuse for a steak. And the northern smoked chicken looks delicious, but if you screw it up, the game tells you to try your own cooking before serving it to guests. And if you're playing Genshin on PS5, you'll be shocked to know there's a hidden detail inside of your own controller. If you pause the game and then blow into the microphone, you'll unlock an exclusive secret. And that's not the only way to mess with the iconic Paimon. For those of us playing on other platforms, you can open the sound settings and adjust the dialogue volume. The first few times you do it, you'll hear this. Paimon coming in! Paimon coming in! But if you keep doing it over and over, this happens. But there's two NPCs you have to watch out for because they're trying to troll people throughout the game. When you first get to Wang Shuin, you'll meet Yuha, who acts really suspicious when you talk to her. As much as she promises there's nothing to see, it turns out there actually is. Later, as you head into Liwei, you'll find another waitress over at the guest house. Now, she looks super familiar, but when you interact with her, she reveals she occasionally switches jobs with her twin sister and even tells you not to be unsettled by it. There is such a huge range of characters in Genshin, but some of them are tiny and the devs added a special animation just for them. If you sprint with a small character and then suddenly stop, they'll lose their balance and nearly fall over, which is super adorable. And these tiny details also translate to sitting down. The regular characters won't make any noise, but small ones not only dangle their feet, but even have a special sound. But one of the absolute coolest cameos in game revolves around the unusual hilly churl. This guy is a huge mystery from his suit to dropping cabbages, but the answer lies on his mask revealing his name is Wei. This is actually a huge tribute to the CEO of MiHoYo, Mr. Wei, and the yellow toy in his suitcase is a reference to Honkai Impact, their previous game. And if you're still wondering about those cabbages, well, they're an homage to another character named Aichon, and of course her name translates to cabbages. Another hidden detail is an NPC hanging around the gates of the castle. Here you'll find a boy named Arthur who's trying to get a sword out of the ground. He claims that it's the sword of a legend, and that's because it's based on King Arthur and how he lifted Excalibur, the sword in the stone. A more recent fable can be found in front of the Knights of the Favonius. Here you'll meet two NPCs called Porthos and Athos, and right up the stairs is a third character named Aramis. If these guys sounded familiar, it's actually because their names are the same as the Three Musketeers. And that's not the only classic novel to be referenced, because Amber loves reading, and during your story quest you'll hear her say this this. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. If you guys didn't know, this is a direct quote from Sherlock Holmes. And you could find another cute secret hidden on the walls of Don Winery. If you come here at nighttime, the MiHoYo logo will actually make an appearance. And that's not even the only thing hiding in plain sight. Anyone who teleports to Stonegate and Leeway can climb down this cliff, and on the rocks, you'll spot a Hydro Slime just sitting there. And if you're out hunting for fresh meat, you might come across a boar, and usually these guys are super easy to take out. But if you somehow manage to die to one, you'll get roasted by the game with the boar to death achievement, not to mention some primo gems to make up for the embarrassment. <laughs> One of the greatest locations in Genshin Impact is somewhere that only a small percentage of players will remember. Almost three years ago, people discovered an island that could only be accessed by a single character, which was Kaya. At the time, he was the only one who could create an ice bridge, and it took super long to get there, but your reward was this adorable stone heart. This was a super cute gift from the devs for anyone who made it, but the real secret was revealed when showing this place to a friend. A hidden chest would suddenly appear alongside an achievement and even some free primo gems. The island was so adored by the community that the devs decided to bring it back with another heart-shaped secret in the latest patch. This time it's in the form of a pond inside of the beautiful new oasis, and of course people brought their friends back to see what would happen, only to be rewarded again. And one of the most loved characters is Barbara, and considering she's a healer, you're not gonna do much damage when attacking. So next time you're in Mondstadt and try to attack the locals for some reason, make sure to use Barbara instead. They won't get 
scared at all, and her music will even make them clap with joy. And while we're on the topic of great characters, Bennett is known for his pyro attacks, insane healing, and most importantly, being unlucky. He is so notoriously unlucky that every single person on his team left him because of the misfortune that follows him. And if you wanted even more proof, it turns out that his birthday is on February 29th, which is a leap year, so the poor guy only gets to celebrate every four years. Ooh. Now, this next one's a classic secret, but still one of the most useful tips in the entire game. If you want to get over 500k Mora instantly, all you have to do is open these three hidden chests. The first one is inside Northland Bank in Leeway, and it gives you 200k Mora. The next one is in Inazuma's Tea House, where behind the counter, you'll find one for 180k. And the cherry on top is inside of the Academia in Sumeru. Simply walk past the fountain into the back room, and behind the stairs is your prize, alongside an exquisite chest on the other side. Back at Dawn Winery, this place is full of secrets, but one of the most impressive is this wooden sign. If you translate the local language to English, it of course says welcome to Dawn Winery. But turns out if you simply mirror all the letters, you don't even need to translate it because it spells it out in English. And it's not the only site in Mondstadt with an incredible backstory. Just head over to the blacksmith and you'll find two NPCs, Wagner and his apprentice Scholes. That's why it's so weird that the sign on the shop is called Scholes's blacksmith and not Wagner's. But if you go outside the gates and talk to Lawrence, you'll find the answer to this puzzle. He'll reveal that Wagner loves to have drinking competitions with ridiculous bets. So the reason behind the name of his shop is because he lost a bet to his own apprentice. And there's a hidden love letter for all the cryo mains out there, which can only be found near Konda Village in Inazuma. You can head to this small island that looks normal at first, but there's a small piece emerging out from the water. Anyone who does an ice move here will be presented with a secret heart, and as an Ayaka main, this one is just amazing. Something else that you can visit right now is an NPC known as Masanori. He's a samurai who enjoys sparring with you anytime you want, but there's more to this guy than you might think. Usually he's great practice as you have two minutes to beat him, but after midnight, this all changes for a few hours. He suddenly gets way stronger in a permanent Avenger state, and now you have five minutes to defeat him, which is super tough. But if you ever do find combat too difficult at any point, here's a trick that tons of players forget to do. While in a fight, you can literally just open your map and fast travel out of battle. It doesn't lock you out, and you can even do the same thing after running out of stamina so you don't have to waste food. This one's a simple tip, but could really save your life when used correctly. And there's even more new content in the brand new Parade of Providence update, which you have to check out. This has single-handedly brought me back to Genshin with an amazing new region in the Hadramavith Desert. You'd expect it to be barren, but instead this is a forbidden realm that's been converted by the power of the Abyss, and now it's this huge swampy area. And it gets even better because not only are there new enemies and a boss named the Inquisitus Baptist, but everyone is desperate to try out the new characters. Baiju is a five-star Dendro Catalyst and probably one of the most fun characters I've ever played. You also have the chance to unlock Kave, another great Dendro user that finally has a Claymore. But if you're less into combat, there's a brand new event called Academia Extravaganza and it's got two main parts to it. The Wisdom Gala is one alongside the Inter Darshan Championship, but I'm spending most of my time with the mini games. Now I won't spoil all of them, but I will say the astrology one is ridiculously fun. Click the top link in the description to download Genshin Impact today and use this code to get 60 Primo Gems and 5 Adventure Experience. Thanks so much again to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. And finally, a detail only hardcore fans will know about is the menu screen that changes depending on your time of day. Most people will see afternoon, but if you hop on for a session at night it'll be dark, while the evening even shows the sun setting. And those were 30 secrets in Genshin Impact, this has been Sammy, keep it here on T5G.